Studios. 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 Cyclops Studios began in early 1992 as the brainchild of artists John Sweeten and Ken Crampton. Beginning as a workspace and developing into a full-blown art gallery, Cyclops Studios remain a cutting-edge venue for new and avant-garde art in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Sweeten and Crampton moved into the 4,000 square foot space at 810 Caroline Street in 1992 to begin work on the raw environment. Sweeten set up his studio in the rear of the building and Crampton took the front. In 1993, Iclop Studios' first show, Art Stinks, ran for three months in the mezzanine on the second floor of 801 Caroline Street. The show was a success. The opening reception was well attended and buzz about Iclops was growing. Sales at Art Stinks were few, two were sold from a show. But donations from viewers covered expenses. Artists in Art Stinks included Adrian Asdarian, Jill Rogers, Jeff Saylor, Laura Shepard, and Dave Harris, who had joined the space as a working artist in residence. With Art Stinks, Iclop Studios secured its future as a real player in the Fredericksburg art scene. Iclop Studios' philosophy as an art space created for and by artists was to present an alternative space to see artworks by young, unestablished artists in the area. Crampton and Sweden knew the difficulties of breaking into the local art scene. They also knew that young artists had little money. Iclops charged no commission or fees to show in the early years. Most other galleries at the time charged commission and entry fees. During the early 1990s in Fredericksburg, the only two venues for local art were the Fredericksburg Center for Creative Arts, who had jury shows once or twice a year, and the rest of their calendar filled out with established artists in curated shows. Art First, a members-only cooperative with salon-style hangings, was the other local gallery. Iclop Studios would seek out new artists to show fresh work, and it still does that today. Iclops has affected the way other galleries show art now. The Center for the Creative Arts now presents juried exhibits throughout the year. Iclop Studios, 10 years later, now run solely by Ken Crampton, has matured into a beautiful gallery space with polished hardwood floors and a swanky attitude. When the Fredericksburg Galleries have their opening receptions every first Friday, Iclops is packed. Harkening back to art stakes, everyone still seems to end up here.